Once upon a time, there was a little mouse who lived in the country. One day, he invited a little mouse from the city to visit him. When they both sat down for the dinner, the city mouse was surprised to find out that the country mouse had only grain to eat. Really? You do not look good at all. You should see your eyelid. I have fun things to eat every day. You must come to visit me and you'll see how pleasant it is to live in the city. The little country mouse was glad to do this and after a while he went into, to the city to visit his friend. The very first place the city mouse took the country mouse was the kitchen cupboard. There stood a big bag of brown sugar. The city mouse picked a hole and invited her friend to nibble for himself. Try some. The two little mice nibbled and nibbled. The country mouse thought that he had never tasted anything so delicious in his life. How lucky the city mouse was. Suddenly, the door, the door opened with a bang. In came the cook to get some flour. La 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 la. What, what was that noise? Oh, nothing. La 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 la. Run! They ran as fast as they could to the little hole from where they had came in. The country mouse was shaking in fear, but they got away safely. The cook will soon go away, and then we can return. After the cook had left, they crept back to the cupboard. But this time, the city mouse had something new to show her friend. She took her into a corner on the top shelf. There stood a large jar of dry dates. They tucked and pulled a large dry date out of the jar. This tasted even better than the brown sugar. The country mouse could, could not nibble fast enough all at once. There came a scratching at the, at the door and then there, then there was a sharp loud. What is that? The city mouse just whispered and ran as fast as she could to the little hole. The country mouse ran after her to the little hole. Soon they were out of danger. The city mouse explained. That was the old cat. She is the best mouser in town. If she catches you, you are dead. This is terrible. Let's not go back to the cupboard again. Okay, I will take you to the cellar. There is something special there. So the city mouse took the country mouse down from the cellar stairs. They walked and find a cupboard with many shelves. They found butter, cheese and sausage. They all smelled so good. The country mouse ran on the shelves and nibbled on the cheese. Then he saw a piece of cheese that looked even more delicious. It was on a strand. He was about to put his teeth on the cheese when the city mouse saw him. Stop! Stop! That is a trap! The little mouse stopped and asked shakily. What is a trap? That thing is a trap. The minute you touch the cheese with your teeth, something comes down hard on your head. If you excuse me, I think I will go home. I'd rather have just grain to eat in peace. I don't want to be scared all the time. So the country mouse went back where he stayed for the rest of his life. He was happy in his peaceful, safe home.